Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. When maths meet coding. So this video is a complete guide for applying k-means clustering with elbow method on a data set in Python. So watch the video till the end so that you will understand all the code and methodologies behind k-means clustering. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to press the bell icon and the subscribe button. So without waiting, let's start. First of all, we are going to import some basic libraries. So here are some of the basic libraries. We are going to import NumPy, Pandas. Then from the sklearn, we are going to import k-means. Then for plotting our results, we will import matplotlib and seaborn. For standardizing our data, we will import sklearn standard scalar. So this is a library which is very helpful to transform your data towards a normal distribution. So it will subtract the mean of the data set and divide it with the variance. So first of all, let's create a basic data set. Here I am using NumPy random samples to generate 100 random samples with two features, feature one and feature two. So this is the five first rows of the data set. We have feature one and feature two. After that, we will normalize the data. So we have already a function that we imported named as standard scalar. Standard scalar transform your data set towards a normal distribution. We are utilizing the object oriented approach over here. So we are defining a object MMS as in standard scalar. Then we are fitting up our data on top of this and converting it to a normalized data. Now, Let's apply the elbow method. For finding up the optimal value of clusters, we always apply elbow method. So elbow method plots the sum of squared error with respect to your number of clusters. As you can see in the plot, as many as clusters you are getting, your squared error is decreasing. And we need to find out the best optimal case where we will have minimum number of clusters and minimum square distance. So by doing the trade-off, we take the elbow. So here, we can take four as in clusters. For applying the clustering, we have already imported k-means library from sklearn. We are fitting up the normalized data with help of km.fit. So for finding out the labels, you have to just write km.labels. It will give labels for every single line in your data set. So I'm just adding up that label in my data set. So now we have a third column named as labels. Now let's visualize how our clusters are looking like. So basically, so from a very generalized intuition, we can say that we have taken the random data set of two features. So if we are creating four clusters, we can have high value of feature one and high value of feature two as in first cluster, high value of feature one and low value of feature two as in second cluster low value of feature one and high value of feature two as in third cluster and low value of feature one and low value of feature two as in fourth cluster. So these are all possible four combinations of the data set we have taken. So here we are showing up the box plot. So as you can see on the box plot, if you see the second cluster over here, the green one that have high value of feature one and high value of feature two, the first cluster the zeroth cluster, the blue one, have high value of feature one and low value of feature two. The first cluster have high value of feature two and low value of feature one. And the fourth cluster, the red one, have low value of feature one and low value of feature two. So that fits to our intuition, what we discussed earlier. Now let's make a scatter plot to more visualize the data set. So here I have plotted all four clusters. You can see that all four clusters are clearly visible over here. So we have low value of feature one and feature two as in yellow, high value of feature two and low value of feature one as in blue, both high values as in red, high value of feature one and low value of feature two as in green. So guys, it shows that our k-means clustering works perfectly when we apply to our normally distributed data set. So you can find out the complete code behind all these visualizations on my GitHub repo 
I have given link in the description. If you are first time visiting to my channel, don't forget to press the bell icon and the subscribe button. Okay, bye bye.